So guys, here you see is one more lead good cam video has been came on the channel and today's video we are solving a 441 question by the name of arranging a coin. So yeah, so please like this video, share friends and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to all the notification bell also so you never miss over these type of videos on the channel. So let's move to computer screen and let's do a coding with laughing. So guys, let's start to solve a 441 question by the name of arranging a coins. So yeah, in today's video, we are solving this question. So now let's start and let's solve it. So first of all, we copy this all the question. So we will be drag and drop this question into our word file. So let me drag and drop it. So here you can see it, the diagram and all the things will be come here. So let's read the question. Now you have n coins and you want to build a staircase with these coins. So we, I have a one n coins and we want to build a one stairs case with these coins. The staircase consists of case k rows where the ith row has exactly i coins and the last row of the stair, uh, st uh, staircase may be incomplete. Please highlight it a maybe word. Given the integer n and our task says we return the number of, uh, of the number of the the number of complete rows of the staircase you build, you will build. So this is our task. So first let's move to our, our example one and let's read our example one. So this one diagram one which uh, it is one diagram in which there is a in five boxes there is a one dollar okay dollar icon okay and in the last box there is not anything there this is empty. So if you see the example here he created an integer by the name of n in which he write 5 and the output will be coming 3, 2 sorry. Why? Because the third row is incomplete that's why we return 2. Okay, so I hope you understand. So then in our example uh, in our case 1 our output will become 2. So let's move our case 2. So here it is one case 2 in which the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 okay. In the eight boxes, there is a dollar icon, and in the last two box, there is this. These are empty. So here he create an integer by the name of n, in which he write eight, and the output will be coming three because the fourth row is incomplete. That's why we return three. So I hope you understand this also. So in our case one, our output will become two, and our case uh, sorry case one, our output will become two, and our case three, uh, two, our output will become three. Okay, and if you if I show you this uh, box, so in the first box there are, there is a dollar sign. Okay, here you can see there is a dollar sign. There is also a dollar sign. There is also be a dollar sign. There is also be a dollar sign. If you see here, there is also be a dollar sign. Here, there is also be a dollar sign. There is also be a dollar sign, and there is also be dollar sign. But in the last two boxes, there is not any dollar sign. If you see that, so not nothing in it. Here you can see it. There is not any dollar sign. If you see this. And that's why here there these are the eight. If I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the total eight boxes in which there is a icon of a dollar. Okay. So that's why here I write in the end integer I write eight. And the output will be coming three because like I've told you, because the fourth row is incomplete. If you see the last row, this is incomplete. That's why we written three. Okay. So if you come over case one, so in the case one here I can write, uh, sorry, let me copy this and let me paste it. So here, if you see, so in the, uh, there is a dollar sign, there is also be a dollar sign, there is also be a dollar sign, there is also be dollar sign and there is also. So in the five boxes, there is a dollar sign, okay. If you see there is in the five boxes, there is a dollar sign. But in the last in the last row, uh, last row, there is not any dollar sign if you see that. So why I write here in the end integer, why I write five? Because uh, in the uh, in the five boxes, there is a dollar sign and the upper will be coming two. Okay, if you see the upper will be coming two because the third row is incomplete uh, means the last row is incomplete. That's why we return two. 
okay so that's why uh, we are retaining two so i hope you uh, understand our case one and case two very successfully yes and i hope you uh, understand the question also if you uh, if i read this question one more time it is saying me you have a n coins we have a one n coins and you want to build we build a one staircase with la with these coins and the staircase consist of k rows where the uh, one the row sorry where the i row has exactly i coins and the last row the last row of the staircase may be incomplete okay given we given the one integer n and we return we return the number of complete rows of the staircase you will build okay it is our task we return the number of complete rows of the staircase you will build okay so now let's open over google chrome and let's start to solve this question and in this question there is not many type of code there is not uh, uh, many codes okay there, in this question there is very small codes there is a hint also sorry there is not any hint and this topic is on about math and binary search in this topic this topic is on about math and binary search okay uh, in this here you can see it. in this topic there is a related with math and binary search so now uh, five lakh uh, one million people have submitted this and only five lakh people uh, solving this accepted and acceptance range is 47.2 percent so means that it should be little bit hard okay because only 47.2 percent acceptance range uh, rate is so that's why i'm telling you this i think so this is that's why it is little bit hard okay that's why so but anyways let's start to solve it so let me open it and now let's start to solve it so first of all let me beg it so i will be show you the code all the code carefully clearly okay so i am starting from the uh, uh, from the start so first of all we create a one class and the, we create a class by the name of solution okay so please create a class of the solution do not create a class of anything like you are creating a class of a solving not like that create a class of a solution use the def keyword in which you write a range coin okay that i am i am writing a range coin because the question is on about coins okay so self comma n square back uh, semicolon n then minus greater than n then semicolon now we writing this we have written down the starting code okay we write in down the starting code so let's begin to write our professional code means uh, we first we write our starting code so but now we write our actually code okay so first of all we create one variable by the name of x in which i write int then two rounded brackets in which i write two multiply by n then multiply by multiply by then rounded bracket 0.5 so when i wrote in down it so i write while then i am writing x then square uh, semicolon okay while then x then semicolon so uh while loop we use here okay and now i use here if statement in which i write x multiply by x plus one uh, exponentiation sign then two then less than equals to n then semicolon enter now here i write i am writing here return x now here i am writing x means here i am printing my output then enter then backspace now when i do this so i am writing x minus equals to 1 perfect okay so here i write x minus equals to 1 then here i use the if statement also so this is all the code which we have written so that's why i'm telling you this video is very small but i think so this code is correct or not so let's see and let me write one here and let me write two. so now let's run this code so when i run this code so i hope it not give me any error if i run it so it is giving me error in both cases but in the case one and case two so let's see so let me remove two here i am writing five and then here i am writing two so let's run it now so i hope it not give me error now okay here you can see it not give me any error so it is accepted so in our case when our output will become 2 and the expected output is also be 2 so in our case 2 our output will become 3 and the expected output is also be 3 so let's submit this code and let's see the submission of this code our code is perfectly correct or not so let's submit it so when i submit this code so the submission code is also be correct and we come in the top of the section here you can see it 
सो हेयर कैन सी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी सॉल्व फोर हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन क्वेश्चन बाय द नेम ऑफ अरेंजिंग अ कॉइंस ओके इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर अरेंज द कॉइंस सो कम आउट डी माई प्रोफाइल माई प्रोफाइल नेम इज राम बिकॉज गो एन व्यू माई प्रोफाइल इट इज योर चाइड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वियर सो वी एट इफ यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू वी एट सो डू नॉट वी एट सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो आई होप यू इंजॉय दिस वीडियो वी इंजॉय सो प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर फ्रेंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड डोट फिकेट टू ऑल नोटिफिकेशन बेल ऑल्सो so you know i will have these type of videos on this channel so anyways let me meet you in the next class and next very amazing class like that type of videos so now for today good bye